he is, as we just saw there, getting ready. He's to in propose. the gear. Yeah. He is in the gear. But mm. this is not. I mean, not necessarily going to go to. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be smooth. I mean, it never was going to be. No, it? it isn't. And tonight is he, he practices his proposal, which he always does with Paddy first. Oh. Rehearses his proposal with Paddy, who is all his wives really. <laughs> oh. And then uh, and he builds up to it, builds up to it, and then somebody arrives in the village from um, yeah from his girlfriend's past. Yeah. And. and it all goes a bit the other way. It's it's Matt, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Matt. Right. So, Jack, Jack, yeah. so they they were no longer together, and it was this uh, this horrible uh, cop death that yeah. uh, that she suffered, which meant that that's why she paused. Yes, um, correct. Yeah, she just blind panic. She she's amazing with his daughter, played by Amelia April, played by the wonderful Amelia. You know, Carl is amazing with his daughter, and it's one of the reasons he's realised that she, you know, she she is the one he's constantly looking to sort of complete this circle of his family. And he, yeah, like you said earlier on, he's. He's had a series of heartbreaks and tragedies and disasters. But the thing about the common denominator thing for Marlon, I think, is that he's in love with the idea of being in love. And every time he falls in love, it's true love. You know, it's not, oh. there's nothing superficial about it or less than any of the other relationships. It's just, he loves this woman. And, and I think because she's kind of out of his league, but doesn't behave like she's out of his league, that she's young is not a problem, that she's a wonderful mum to his, to, his, to his kids. She's everything that he thought she wouldn't be, yeah. you know, and Gemma's so clever at, at playing that, Gemma Atkinson, who plays Carly. So it's, it's, it's it, it, all of the, the sort of ingredients are there for it to be the right thing. Yeah. And then this really good looking Irishman turns up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, it, and this has got an, another layer really to it as well, because obviously they, they had Billy together and Billy, and Billy passed away, yeah. but he didn't know about it. No, she, she, they'd split up. And she had the baby. She, lo she tragically lost so the baby. There's a lot to deal with there. For and those there's a lot two. to deal with for, for the character of Matt. You know, um, Jack played him brilliant because the first day on set, the, the lad who plays him, he, um, he comes in his first scenes with a big emotional scene straight away, and he just nailed it. And, and you'll see that tonight. It's a wonderful performance. But what it does is for Marlon is it 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 holds everything up yeah, it and does. it throws everything into a new light again. Just when he thought he was getting somewhere. It's um it's in. Top gear at the moment. It's looking yeah. great. You know the stories are terrific. Um, and last night it won a BAFTA. <gasps> well done. I'm in a balcony room and I, I gave myself a little treat. I went. To, I've got vertigo, but I went to the balcony, <laughs> held onto it like that. I went, woo! <laughs> I went to London like that. Woo! It was quite <laughs> cat. It could have gone better, <laughs> but I enjoyed doing it. <laughs> so were they? Did you not see any of them? No, no. I got. I was getting. I spoke to Charlotte Bellamy who plays Laurel, and she went, "You've got to go over there. Imagine turning up at BAFTA dressed <laughs> like. Oh, you should have done. Dressed like a Yankee geek, you know, uh, you know, even more than normal. I say, can I come in? And the security guys go, definitely not, definitely not. And just seeing them in the distance, all toasting each other. So, uh, no, well, the difference go. is probably you're a lot fresher than them. Yes, today. I imagine. Do you know so. what? I feel smug and terrific. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's, it's felt like it's been a long time coming. The show feels like it's it's earned this because the quality of the show has been so good for so long. Yeah. And obviously, I'm biased. Mm. But there's a reason that we're doing so well in the ratings that we're winning these awards. It's because the show. No, is I think on you're fire. you're in the best shape you've ever been. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and for you. 20 years. I mean, 20 years. Does it feel like 20 years? Did you think no. at the beginning you'd be there for 20 years? No, I got a three month contract and then it's been the longest streak of looking See television that history. Look at oh, that. I look at him! <laughs> Do you know what? That. I, that's that's really quite troubling and disturbing uh, to see that. Yeah, twenty years, face. but it's gone like that, you know. It and really? it's been every day's been. I've looked forward to going into work every day. What more could you ask for? Yeah, well, it, I was uh, looking down at the list of, of people who've. You know, been there for quite a while. Chris Chittle has been there for 30 yeah, years. Uh, Steve Hallowell, James yeah. uh, Hooten, over 22 yeah. years. Yeah. Jane Cox, 20 years in August. Yeah. I mean, if you've been there a long time, do you get any sort of preferential treatment? Do you no. get like a nicer dressing room or anything no. like that? No, no, no. I share a dressing room with the most. I've got Patrick Mower, Freddie Jones, you know, I'm, I'm in uh, Duncan Preston. My dressing room is anecdote central. You couldn't wait, wish for a better gang of people, but no, nobody's treated like that. That's the secret to our show is that, um, and I'm sure the others too, I haven't worked, but you know, the, there's a real family vibe and everybody's treated the same and everybody, we're, we're a gang, you yeah. know, we're a real gang. Everybody looks after each other and it's, I think anybody who comes to visit knows that it's a, it's a magical place. I saw that when I came, I came to, to yeah, have a look it's around a lovely and saw that and it really was yeah. a nice atmosphere. There's no big egos floating about, you know. But you didn't celebrate, so you did 20 years and it was last October, wasn't it? Yeah. So, but yeah. you did not have a big celebration. Well, I don't, I, I mean, I, I'm very proud of that, but it just feels like it should be, it's just, it's another year, you know, I just know I'm lucky to be in it. And so, 
I, I only ever think about to the end of each year, you know, you can never, never assume anything, or especially in a soap. So for me, it was just like, oh, great, you know, I just had a little private punch of the air. I had a little woo on the balcony. Yeah, I I yeah, yeah. You know, it's a thing I do. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and that's, that was enough for me, because you don't want to sort of, like, be... You know, people who... Well, you never know when Sharon Marshall's going to write the script. You, 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 no, you no. look at, turn it over Where are you think, going with this? No. Oh, my God, a tree falls on me. Marlon's been beheaded, <laughs> you know. So, no, it's kind of like... It, no, exactly, you can never count your chickens, so you just keep doing your best, and it's been... A great ride. Well, we look forward to tonight's episode and seeing where this can take. I hope he finds his true love at some point. It's a belter tonight. I think Good. people will really enjoy it. There's a lot going on, yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.